Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with just a simple tutorial on how I get my chunky twist out. I will be working in sections. It is easier for me to do my hair in sections since my hair is shorter. Now, I will just be using water, a comb and a brush. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, I will be working with the front section and I'm going to flat twist the front section to the side. Splitting that section in half, I'm just going to dampen my hair slightly. I already have product in my hair, so I'm not going to add any additional product. I'm just going to use a little bit of water just to moisturize my hair. And I'm going to use my fingers just to kind of finger detangle the ends of my hair. Now, if you don't know how to flat twist, that's fine. I've done this chunky twist out with regular twist as well. So I would just um, take, you know, nice size sections of hair and just twist it, you know, regular two strand twists. You do not have to flat twist. I do flat twist because it gives me a, a way to have that chunky twist out uh, without just having my twist straight up in the air. With my hair being short, it's just a lot easier for me to flat twist. But um, you know, you can work with your hair in whichever way you choose and whichever way is easier for you. You definitely want to um, twirl the ends to seal that curl so you get that nice curl at the end of your um, twist. Now on to the next section. This is the back section and I will be flat twisting the same way. Um, of course, I'll be flat twisting up towards the front of my hair. Um, I won't be flat twisting to the side, I'll be flat twisting forward. And when twisting your hair in any kind of like two strand twist or even a braid out, you always want to comb the ends out to make sure that they're detangled and there's no knots or anything like that. So you want to comb the ends out and um, that way you can get that good curl at the end. And you want to also kind of twirl it with your finger as well so it kind of seals the ends. Now right here, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a closer look at how I um, flat twist. It's really not that hard. I'm not very, very good at it. I'm able to flat twist enough to set my hair for a style, but I'm not good at like flat twist, flat twisting really like small or skinny twists um, for like a updo or protective style or anything like that. But um, I can flat twist enough to, like I said, to set my hair for a flat twist style. And that's what I'm doing. I'm actually doing a combination of flat twist and regular twist as well. So um, I will be twisting the back section in regular twists. All right, I'm now all twisted up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and spray um, my shorter area just to moisturize it, and then I'm gonna pick it out just to uh, make sure it doesn't get you know matted or anything like that. I always like to pick it out or at least brush it or comb it out. Um, I'm just gonna pick it out and I'm going to put on my bonnet and pretty much let these air dry overnight, and I will be back tomorrow to show you how they turned out. Stay tuned.
to take my hair down, I'm going to be using a pick and some oil. Now, let's get started. You want to use just a small, maybe just one pump of this Garnier Futures oil. It's kind of heavy. I like to use it when taking twists out. It's really good for that. Just simply fluff to your liking. I like to pick out my roots a little bit just so I can get a little more height. Um, pretty much just, you know, do this the way you want it to, to be. You don't want to manipulate it too much because you don't want your hair to be really frizzy. Um, but really, I like to just kind of take the twist out and just kind of um, fluff the roots. Now for the shorter part of my hair, I just use a little bit of gel. I'm going to put a little bit of this oil on first. And then I just use a dime size amount of gel. And I just kind of roll my hands around the back of my head just to kind of make the curls kind of, kind of activate my curls a little bit. Um, I usually put more gel on. I usually will spray a little bit of water, but I don't want to get my hair wet in any kind of way. So I'm just kind of just doing it really quickly. This time, I'm not going to go too much into it. Um, and just pretty much get my edges and get the shorter part of my hair as polished as I can to go with this style. And that is it. Very, very, very simple. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Chico says bye. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs>